Alright, good morning boys and girls. It's time for Sex and Phonics Lesson 99. We are almost at 100. Alright, on the front of your packet you have Spelling List 19. Spelling List 19. Your test is tomorrow. So you need to study your words. You can uh, use the link that's attached to your lesson for Spelling City to practice, or you can take a practice spelling test with your study buddy, your adult at home. Remember the A sound in the star words, 11 through 15, or digraph AI. And then words 16 through 20 are your sight words. You have to memorize those. And then you have your sentences on 21 and 22. You need to be able to identify them written correctly. That includes capital letters, punctuation marks, and the spelling. All right, so let's look at our essential question and standards. How do I use my phonics skills to become a better reader? All right, in our lesson, we will know and apply our grade level phonics and decoding skills. We will distinguish or identify the difference between long and short vowels in one syllable words. We will know our digraphs, especially our vowel digraphs. Decode two syllable words. Decode prefixes and suffixes. Right now we're focusing on suffixes. Identify words with inconsistent but common spelling sound patterns. All right, those are your funny words or sight words that follow funny patterns. All right, let's look at our lesson today. It is lesson 99. So you can turn to lesson 99. Put your name at the top of your spelling and practice page. All right, we're going to start out with accents today. It's an accent day. All right, let's look at our cards. So, if this were a word, how many syllables would we have? One, two, three syllables. It would be three syllables. Where would the accent be? On the second syllable. The accent and syllable, we say how? We say it longer, louder, and our voice is higher. All right, so we're going to try some this morning. Three syllables. The accent is on the second syllable. All right, we have A, blank, C. What's the missing letter? B. Let's say it with the accent on the second syllable. Get ready. A, B, C. Again, A, B, C. What's the missing letter? C. Get ready. B, C, D. Again, B, C, D. What's the missing letter? D. Get ready. C, D, E. Again, C, D, E. What's the missing letter? E. Let's say it. Get ready. D, E, F. Again, D, E, F. What's the missing letter? F. Let's say it. Get ready. 
E F G again E F G and the next one what's the missing letter G say it get ready F G H again F G H What's the missing letter? H. Say it. Get ready. G H I. Again. G H I. What's the missing letter? I. Get ready. H I J. Again. H I J. All right, and our last one. What's the missing letter? J. Get ready. I J K. Again. I J K. All right. We'll continue working on our syllable patterns next week. All right, let's go over our review keyword pictures. All right, get ready. Wallet, A, A. Remember, when we have A, that is after W or Q, U, it will say A, like in wallet. Or if we have an L after A, it will say ah, oh, like in talk. Get ready. Straw, digraph A W, ah. Oh. Get ready. Faucet, digraph A U, ah. Oh. Get ready. Soap, digraph O A O. Lotion, final stable syllable T I O N. Shun. All right, let's review this morning. Pencils are down, eyes are up here. All right, review cards. Get ready to name the letters first. Ghost letter digraph, W-R. Digraph, A-I. Final stable syllable, T-I-O-N. Digraph, C-K. Digraph, N-G. Diphthong and digraph, O-U. Digraph, E-A. Final stable syllable, T-L-E, digraph P-H. Trigraph I-G-H. Final stable syllable, F-L-E, combination I-R. Digraph O-A, digraph A-W. Ghost letter digraph G-N, digraph A-Y. Diphthong and digraph O W, trigraph T C H, trigraph D G E, combination Q U, O consonant E, final stable syllable P L E, digraph A U, the vowel Y, diphthong O I. Final stable syllable, D-L-E, diphthong O-Y, combination O-R, A consonant E, I consonant E, combination E-R, ghost letter digraph, K-N, final stable syllable, G-L-E, 
combination AR affix cards. All right, so far we're focusing on suffixes added to the end of a word. Change the root word. Suffix ed means it's already happened. Yesterday we walked to the pond. Walked. Already happened. Suffix full means full of. I am careful when I walk near water. Careful, full of care. Suffix er means comparing two things like more, I am taller than my sister, or a person who does something. A farmer is a person who farms. Suffix ly, we use it as an adverb to tell how the action happens. The rabbit ran quickly. Quickly tells us how the rabbit ran. Or it can tell us when something happens. Like, I brush my teeth daily. Daily tells us when. Suffix EST compares three or more things. The most. My bed is the softest bed in the house. Softest means the most. All right, our sight word cards. Let's read these the fast way. I'm listening. See who's with us. I walk today strange danger by bought Whose country fought, should, could, change, every, several, thought, stranger, brought, laugh, finally, something, against, Island, daughter, mountain, ocean, animal, young, question, government, America, trouble, people, usually, what, they, tomorrow. Only does where goes were want would. All right, put your finger on number one on your sound spelling. Number one, echo after me. Number one, k. Yes, k. Write it. Remember, we learned a new rule yesterday for this one. You should have K, comma, C in the final position. If it's a short vowel word, we spell with CK. If it's a long vowel, KE. Any other spelling pattern in a one syllable word is K. And if the word is two or more syllables, we spell with C. So one more time K, comma, C. Final CK, comma K, comma KE, comma C. Those are all the rules for the K sound. Check your work. 
We have learned them all. Number two. Echo me. You. Yes, you. Write it. What letters? You should have U consonant E, comma U with a macron, long vowel. Number three. Yes, as in vest or as in have. Number three. What are our two ways to spell with a sound? V. Final V E. Or you can mark this part off. We don't even need that. We'll just say V, final V, E, because if we hear V at the end of the word, it's going to be V, E, no matter the spelling. So V, final V, E. Number four. Oi. Yes, oi, write it. What are the two ways? O-I, final O-Y. O-I in the initial and medial position. O-Y in the final position. Number five. Do. Yes, do. Like in candle. Boys and girls, what should we have? Final stable syllable, D L E. Number six. Yes. As in fish or as in cuff. Two ways fish or cuff. So what are our two ways of spelling the f sound? F, final F, F. Remember if it's a short vowel sound, followed by F, F, F for the floss rule. We double that consonant sound. Number seven, T. Yes, T. Write it. You should have T, final T, suffix ED. Remember, suffix ED makes three different sounds, and the T sound is one of them. Number eight is a big one. I know you guys have this. Listen. Echo. S. Yes. Two ways in the initial position and three ways in the final. Think about your rules.
in the initial position, S comma C. In the final position, if it's a short vowel sound, it's SS. Long vowel, C E. Any other spelling pattern, S E. So your whole rule is S comma C, final SS comma S E comma C E. It's okay if they're not in that order, but they all have to be there, okay? All right, number nine, J. Yes, J. All right, remember there are different ways to spell that pattern in the initial and final. Let's see what you've got, try it. position J comma G either one can make the J sound in the final position if you have a short vowel sound followed by J it's trigraph D G E any other spelling pattern is G E check your work all right we're going to practice spelling some words you're going to think about all of the spelling patterns we've learned to help you spell these words today. Number 10, haunt. Haunt. I think there may be a ghost that will haunt that house. Haunt. Tell me the sounds you hear in haunt. Get ready. Ah. <sighs> uh, mm. One more time. Uh, Spell haunt on number 10. Think about the spelling patterns you've learned. Haunt. Let's spell haunt. H A U N T. What word? Haunt. We have ah. It's in the medial position. A U final A W. So we use A U in this word. It's in the middle. All right, number 11. We're going to spell the word garlic garlic i can taste the garlic in my spaghetti garlic tell me the sounds you hear in garlic get ready good r u i k again good r u I, k. 
garlic. Think about your final sound. Think about your rules. They're right up here. Garlic. Let's spell it. Garlic. G A R L I C. Boys and girls, why did we spell with C in the final position? <coughs> Excuse me, Miss Fires. Garlic is how many syllables? Two syllables. We use C if the word is. Two or more syllables. Thumbs up if you got it. Awesome job. That's our new spelling pattern for the k sound. All right, number 12, partner. I need a partner to play a board game. Partner. Tell me the sounds you hear in that word. Get ready. Let's spell partner. P A R T N E R. What word? Partner. 